got some good news for you. You're going to love this. The Department of Urban Development, the White House, and the Department of Energy have all gotten together and formed an alliance to decarbonize every building in the United States. And I'm going to tell you about it. Who am I? I'm Lisa, and I read this crap, so you don't have to. So you clicked on this video, so I'm sure you want to know what the GAFIA is up to here in 2024 to decarbonize your house. It's all part of that pesky little ESG program. And it's coming for your homestead. And that's not funny. That's right. Over the next six years, these people right here and these people right here want to decarbonize everything in the US, apparently. And if you actually believe what Gafia says, they're saying that the real estate sector accounts for 60% of all carbon emissions in urban areas. I will take that with a very large grain of salt. Their plan is to spend between 18 and 36 trillion to decarbonize ourselves and this is going to be a complete game changer. It's going to probably affect property values too, because people aren't going to be able to afford to do this. Now, of course, if you'd like to know all the details, you should hit the like button. I'll wait. Okay. So I started reading about this decarbonization stuff. And as you can imagine, all the documents are ridiculous, like totally ridiculous. A lot, a lot of stuff. In them and most of them say they want to decarbonize by 2030 but there are others that have different dates but let's stick with the 2030 thing right now so this decarbonization thing is part of the ESG thing if you don't know what ESG is I do have several videos on it on this channel and you should watch them they affect your retirement plan and they affect pretty much everything that you do I'll pop a video at the end because I'm nice like that. So these people and these people are forcing ESG on this person and, and you too. And by the way, censorship is on the rise, hugely on the rise. And that is why I'm using code. I've come up with new names for certain entities like the Gafia. And these people right here, well, I think I'm going to call them the Schwabets. If you have a better nickname for those entities, please write them down in the comments. I will take them under consideration. Okay, so on the Gafia's website, there's all kinds of information on numerous websites. It's all a complete word salad, but I'm going to give you the highlights to save you the pain. The new partnerships that we have announced today underscore our strong and enduring commitment to energy efficiency and climate resiliency for our nations, communities, homes, buildings, and infrastructures. It also underscores our commitment to share research on impacts faced by those most at risk. I have no idea what those most at risk means. HUD will continue to work with the Department of Energy to fortify homes and communities across country, ensuring that they are prepared to respond to challenges posed by climate crisis through mitigation, adaptation, and resilience. HUD will increase investments in climate and energy retrofits of existing housing, incentivizing green building design and new construction, and proactively advancing climate mitigation and adaptation strategies across HUD programs. The bottom line, they want everybody to retrofit their house by 2030. And for that to happen, the government will have to require residential homes to adapt sustainable and energy sufficient practices. This could include installing solar panels, green roofs, or other things like improving your home insulation. And there's more. The government may also incentivize the use of electric vehicles and provide subsidies for projects that align with the, the net zero goal. This is a good one. HUD will explore ways to incentivize communities to implement land use changes to allow for denser transit oriented housing developments to reduce households 
reliance on cars. You know, I was planning on getting an RV, doing some traveling in my retirement. This sucks. So I bet you're wondering, what is all of this going to cost? And I did some digging, so you're in luck. I found this little gem right here. That's right, if you pull up the Department of Energy's PowerPoint, they have a great PowerPoint. They estimate for you to reduce your carbon output by 50%. It's going to cost you somewhere between forty dollars and $50,000 per household to do that. So it's clear that these people right here are looking for you to spend a bunch of money with certain stakeholders. You know, this public-private partnership that's going on. All of these green companies, they're all making a lot of money on you and me. Like those solar panel companies. You do know that's how Al Gore makes all of his money. He makes all green energy products and he makes billions of dollars. You wonder why he screams about rain bombs? Because it pays big. Creating these atmospheric rivers and the rain bombs and sucking the moisture out of the land. And here's a good one. If you want to try to make your house carbon footprint better than 50%, 50% reduction, 55%. They estimate that would cost you over $100,000 to do that. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. How dare you? And they've been planning this stuff for a long, long time. Tucked away quietly in that BS Inflation Reduction Act. Another fleecing of America. They quietly buried 18 billion with the B rebates and subsidies so that we can all retrofit our home. But that equates to like a $2,000 deduction on your $50,000 retrofit. And their PowerPoint, they also are offering financing. How nice of them, yeah. Now there were no mandatory timelines that I could find, but can you imagine if they actually implemented one? People will lose their minds. But I'd love to hear what you think. What do you think's gonna happen if they do this to us? I mean, you know, all of these green companies are tight with Agafia. Everybody's making money except you and me. Now, personally, I think we need to repeal ESG and withdraw from the Paris Climate Accord. I wonder who would do that. And I'm sure I'm not telling you anything you don't already know. There's a lot of moving parts in the background, a lot of people making money on this whole decarbonization concept. This public-private partnership, as the WEF would say, stakeholders, well, they're all in it together. And they all plan making a crap load of money on forcing every one of us to buy these Inefficient appliances, you know, the dishwashers don't clean your dishes. They want you to buy a new air conditioner that's not gonna cool your home. Of course, your ceiling fans and they want you to get rid of your gas stove. And if you have a fuel operated heating system in your home, they of course want that to go away. They want you to go electric. They want you to, you know, re-insulate your house, put a special roof on put in solar panels. I mean, God knows what else they're going to come up with. And personally, I don't think it benefits any of us. Only benefits pocketbooks of those companies who are selling that stuff. Best piece of advice I could give you is to educate yourself. You need to find out exactly what's happening in your state and where you live. And that means write your state representatives. You might say I'm only one person, but it adds up that this is a hardship on you as a homeowner. And, you know, this is only the beginning. I mean, you can already see that the electric car thing is now backfiring on them. The bottom line is these decarbonization policies are going to hurt the average homeowner. They're going to increase the cost for the average homeowner, most of which cannot afford to dump $50,000 
into their house for some fluffy green policy that these people, these people want to feel good about. Spending $50,000 on your house to supposedly lower your energy bill. You'll never recapture that money. It'll lower your bill, 25, 30. Even if it lowered your bill 50 bucks, you'll never recapture that $50,000. You're just not going to. If you got some value out of this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. It certainly helps the channel. And of course, put your comments below. I would love to know how you feel about these decarbonization policies. Are you gonna spend 40 or $50,000 to do that at your house? I'd love to know. I'm Lisa, this is Living with Lisa, and I hope I see you again real soon. Take care. This great reset is as serious and as dangerous a threat and your freedom. When government forces you into something, a way of living, when has it actually ever worked out? Lies are all around you. Scott, look at all of that fake news, it's unbelievable. Stop drinking the Kool-Aid.